the next book that I'm gonna read. Ooh, am I gonna do it? I think I am. Because sometimes with people in real life, you'd also like to slap them in the face. Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another reading vlog. In this reading vlog, I will be reading books, but I'm also writing my thesis and this is my first week of spending time on it. And I think it would just be really interesting to show you what I'm currently doing with my life and kind of how I'm dealing with writing a thesis. I will also be talking about my subject and everything, but I'll do that a little later on in the video. Let's start by sharing the book that I'm currently reading. It's so funny that you're like backstage. <laughs> I'm just like waiting for my kid. <laughs> So the book that I'm currently reading is I Was Born For This by Alice Oseman. I had finished all of like my required reading for the past two months because I had like a book club book and a read-along book that I was currently reading. So I was like, what do I want to read next? And this year I have definitely discovered Alice Oseman and how much I enjoy her work. And this is one of the only books or like novels that I still need to read by her. And it deals with a fangirl of a certain band and you also follow the perspective of one of those band members and they sort of like meet each other through a certain event and then I don't know where the story is gonna take off next. And I'm liking it, but I'm not loving it as much as her other books. But maybe if I get a little further into the story, because I'm at page 119 right now. We shall see, but I have a guest in the background here of my video. I'll just grab my phone, let's see how that goes. <laughs> Ta da! Hello! <laughs> it's Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe, and you cannot really see me when I hold the phone like this, I guess. But uh, we are doing a study session together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Olivia is, like, in my opinion, the best study buddy ever. <laughs> I'm always so productive when I'm with Olivia. We're gonna have another study session right now, and mm -hmm. I wanted to let you know what are you currently reading as well, Olivia? <laughs> I'm going to start reading Passing by Nella Larson, which might be hard for you to see, <laughs> but this is about a woman who is white passing and she lives her life as if she's white passing. She marries a white man and doesn't tell him about her African-American heritage, but when she meets one of her childhood friends who has not hidden her past, things start to go wrong, I think, so mm. that's what I'll be reading reading in this study session. Ooh, okay, it sounds really interesting. <laughs> so she's gonna read and I'm gonna look up some papers again because that's what I'm doing right now with my first week of thesis writing, finding some primary sources. Let's do it. Yes, bye Olivia, <laughs> kind of. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Today it is Friday, November 13th. <gasps> Friday the 13th. Oh my god. <laughs> People, it's 2020, so we don't know what to expect on a Friday the 13th anymore. <laughs> so yesterday, the study session with Olivia was really, really nice. I'm feeling very conflicted about like how much time I need to spend each day on my thesis because I cannot spend like a full workday, like a full eight hours behind my laptop just fully searching for articles. So I think that yesterday, including the break, I spent four and a half hours on it, but it's just, I don't know how much time I need to spend on my thesis every single day. But in like 30 minutes, 10.30, I'm gonna have another study session with Leonie from the book Leo and that's really funny because I follow the same bachelor's degree as Leonie has done but she has followed the bachelor's degree at a different university. She didn't have to write a thesis for her bachelor but she's writing a thesis for her master's degree right now. So it's really nice to have someone who you can share your experience with at the same time. And study sessions are really, really nice so if you're having trouble with concentrating during these times where you have school online and you're just doing it all by yourself I highly recommend studying with someone uh, like on FaceTime or 
WhatsApp calling. I don't know what you have, but it's really nice. And also, I want to thank Seventeen London for gifting me this gorgeous backpack. I got to choose one of their backpacks, which was available on their website, and I chose this one. I don't know what this model is called again, but I will put it here somewhere on the screen. They sent me this backpack for free to try out, and I've been using this backpack for over a month right now. I have never had a backpack that costs so little because I think these backpacks cost about like 35 pounds, so like around 40 euros, and the quality is really nice but there are so many pouches so if you want to have a nicely organized backpack i highly recommend 17 london's ones plus they are water repelling and in the past month we've had quite a rainy season here in the netherlands and i always walk or ride my bike between my house and my boyfriend's house and my laptop has survived in this backpack so that's really nice you don't have to worry about any possible water damage so i am hosting a little giveaway so one of you guys can win one of the backpacks from 17 london i will leave the rules for this giveaway in the description box down below so definitely check those out first and if you cannot wait to get your own you can use my code it will pop here on the screen to get a 5% discount and this is an affiliate link meaning that you also support me and my channel because I will receive a small portion of every single sale that is being made with my code. But right now I'm gonna make some breakfast and charge my camera because it's dying. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. So today it is Sunday, November 15th. My room is a giant mess. So I need to fix that. And whilst I'm cleaning my room and just throwing all the things away that I don't need anymore, I'm gonna listen to the audiobook of I Was Born For This. I'm currently on page 294 so i only have like about 100 pages left i thought and hoped that i was gonna love this book but i'm not loving it like i am enjoying it um i do really love the diversity of all the characters in the story but that's what i always love about alice oseman's books we follow two main characters but we follow jimmy kagarichi who is a part of the arc who is a transgender boy which is really nice to have that representation in this book and then our other main character like our second perspective is angel rahimi and she's a big big fan of the arc <clears throat> my voice <laughs> and somewhere in this book somehow these two characters meet up and they need each other's help a lot of things are discussed here such as panic attacks and alcoholism i think maybe even like depression so I always like seeing that in Ellis Oseman's books. I looked it up on script and it was on there as well, so that's why I'm currently listening to it. So I'm gonna listen to the last bit of this book whilst cleaning my room, and then I'll update you guys on what I think of the book. This book. <laughs> so I just finished reading I Was Born For This by Alice Oseman and I, I, I don't know how I should rate this book. I don't know what to think of it. It was, to be honest, a little bit of a disappointment. I was expecting to love this book because I really adore Alice Oseman's writing style, so that hasn't changed about this book. I still really, really love that. But I think the main thing that bothered me a bit with this book is that I miss a connection with the characters. And I found myself just listening to the story because I, I was kind of done with it. So much stuff and really quite intense stuff happened at the ending and it wrapped up so quickly and so perfectly like everything was okay again. It's a little bit unbelievable and I also think that some of the themes which are being dealt with in this book are not my favorites hence why I'm not obsessed with this book. Like I enjoyed it so I think I would give this one somewhere like between a three and a three and a half out of five stars. I am just not really a 
big intense fangirl of something like I guess that if you are in the book community you are just like a fan of like books in general so maybe in that way I could kind of relate to Angel but I felt that because of her obsession with the arc I didn't really get to know her as a character and I really missed a connection with her so I definitely did not enjoy reading from her perspective as much as I enjoyed reading from Jimmy's perspective I think that's always kind of like a hit or miss with um, writing stories from different points of view like you probably will have a favorite and if you have only two perspectives that sucks a little bit when one of the characters is not really your cup of tea and Jimmy is such a precious flower <laughs> a really delicate flower and I did like to see how everything went behind the scenes with the band with the arc and I think it would be a really good portrayal of how big stars in our world probably feel as well hoped I was gonna love it but I didn't it's just that the whole extreme fangirl fandom it's not something that I love to read about in books and just the main thing is that I missed a connection with a lot of the characters not all of them but most of them I just felt emotionally disconnected from and that's always my favorite part about a story the characters yeah I'm kind of glad I can start a new book and I think the next book that I'm gonna read oh am I gonna do it I think I am I think it's gonna be the Dragon Republic by R.F. Quang. Uh, I think I should say Quang. Do you see the size of this book? I think it's like about 600 pages, but because it's, ooh, it's over 650 pages, damn. But because it's such a big hardcover, it's just huge. I mean, look at the copy of The Poppy War and then compare it in size to The Dragon Republic. It's insane, but they only differ about like 100 pages, so it's not that much of a difference. But I loved The Poppy War. This is an amazing, fantasy book. This is definitely my most surprising book that I've read in 2020. I did not think I was gonna like it because it deals a lot with like war and just war. I always feel super intimidated by adult fantasies and especially when they deal with a topic such as like war and war strategies which is not really my cup of tea or at least I would initially say that. R.F. Kuang's writing style is amazing in my opinion. It helped me get through the story really really well and I've heard so many good things about the Dragon Republic but also that it's an emotional roller coaster and I know that the third book is coming out in like two days? Something like that. It's November 15th right now and I think it's coming out on the 17th but I'm not too sure and I hear that people are devastated after reading that book and I just want to you know continue on with the series. It's really unlike me but you know trying to better myself I guess. So if you haven't checked out this trilogy you definitely should. Like I said last book is coming out in a couple of days so you have no excuse to be like oh but the last book still isn't out yet. It's gonna come out pretty damn soon. So I think I'm gonna read this chunk of a book. I hope that the audiobook is available on script as well because that always helps me with reading such big fantasy books. It's so gorgeous and I'm also really scared. So yeah, I'm gonna pack my bag, then go to my boyfriend and tonight I'm also gonna play Animal Crossing with Brit from Basically Brit. I always really like that and then we'll FaceTime together as well. And then tomorrow I will start my second week of writing my thesis. I haven't actually started writing anything yet. It's mostly just finding primary sources and articles until so far. By the way, I don't even think I've told you like what I'm kind of writing my thesis about. So if you know this book, Invisible Women Exposing Data Bias in a World Designed for Men, and you have read chapter 10 and 11, that is kind of what uh, my thesis will be about. My thesis deals with sex and gender bias in biomedical cardiovascular research. It's a whole mouthful, <laughs> but I'm basically gonna write about how kind of because of our patriarchy like the man is the norm. Also science has been influenced by that but a lot of research has been based on the male body and has been used a lot in science as well as like a model system. And one of the research fields that has been impacted by this a lot is the cardiovascular research field. Women have different symptoms than men when it comes to like heart failures or heart attacks and I'm gonna research that. I won't make it any more complicated than that because I don't know how interesting you find this already. And I have to say I'm finding it a whole lot more interesting than I initially thought I would find it. So until so far, I feel like I'm doing good. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys about my thesis. Now I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye!
So it is November 16th at 9.30 in the evening. The sound in my room might be a little strange because I got a new window frame. I looked up the translation in English. Today was not a productive thesis day, but I got some really great feedback from my supervisors, so that's really, really nice. And I couldn't be in my room because people were working on my window the whole day. But I also started reading The Dragon Republic yesterday, and oh my god, I'm already like loving this world again so much. And the characters are so realistic, and like sometimes you just you just hate them. You want to slap them in the face, but I think that makes them the more realistic, even because sometimes with people in real life, you'd also like to slap them in the face. <laughs> but despite me not having the most productive thesis day, tomorrow we have another chance. So for tonight, I'm going to read some more in this book and I'm going to watch the first episode of The Haunting of Bly Manor, like I already watched about 30 minutes and I'm very intrigued. But first, I'm going to read some in this book. Okay, so it is almost 12 o'clock. I just unboxed the October 2020 Fairy Loot box, the last Fairy Loot box that I received from them for free, and it was amazing. So it's gonna be in my autumnal last book haul of 2020 video, so I will leave a link up on the screen if I've already uploaded that. Since it's almost 12, and I wanted to start studying at 10, this is not a successful studying day until so far, but at 12, I'm gonna meet up with Olivia again, and then hopefully I can get some done for my thesis. This week is kind of strange with my motivation and like what I have to do. I just have to do a couple of like little things and it's not mainly finding primary articles anymore so I guess that's kind of why I feel kind of lost in what I should be doing and how much time I should be spending on it. <sighs> you guys this week uh I don't know what to think of it. <laughs> I'm feeling so much less motivated to work on my thesis than last week, but I think there's like a big reason for it. This week, what I have to do is a little bit more vague. Like I have to select the subjects which I want to talk about. I had to kind of like look into how I could formulate my method used for the literature search. So it was not as clear as last week where I just had to find lots of articles. So I was just like looking into all these different articles last week and now it's just like well just select a couple of this do a little bit of that do a little bit of this I think if I look back at this week I spend about like two to three hours on my thesis every single day which is is not much <laughs> also for the past two-ish days I was at my boyfriend's house and I can never really focus working on my thesis there or like on uni stuff in general so maybe I shouldn't do that there <laughs> and just leave my boyfriend alone. I have worked on my thesis for like about one and a half hours right now. In like 30 minutes, Leonie and I are gonna have a study session this afternoon. But I have a huge order of clothes from Monkey. I think it's an international business with like clothing and stuff. I think it's a side company from H&M. I ordered a bunch of clothes. I'm gonna fit them and I'm gonna kind of like do a little walkway how do you call that runway showing off session to you guys but let's see what fits me and what looks good so enjoy <laughs>
look oh with the majority of the things that i got i'm pretty happy but sometimes you also just have like clothes that are either like too big or too small i do really need to like wear a belt in the middle at the middle to kind of like accentuate my waist i mean i don't have to but i want to but i just had a study session with leonie from the book leo again and it was just really nice to catch up with her and have a nice chat as well in between the studying part and i also handed in the things that i found and did in my second week of my thesis to one of my supervisors this week the second week felt really unproductive and i also felt like i didn't really have a clue of like what i should do or what was good enough so hopefully next week week three when i will actually start writing writing my thesis will be a bit better regarding my productivity. Before I'm gonna close off this like thesis writing and reading vlog type of situation, I will give you guys a reading update because I think it's been a while since I've done that. So how far am I with the Dragon Republic? I'm currently on chapter seven, which is page 95. And I initially wanted to listen to the audiobook on Scribed, but the audiobook was really messed up on my iPhone. Like, I don't know what it was, but it sounded as if like, parts of the words were missing so it was really not great to listen to but I messaged like scribed and with a problem and they fixed it so now I can listen to the audiobook which is wonderful because that will definitely help me power through this giant book but another book that I started reading and I am loving it already so much is Heb je nou een vriend by Marie Lotte Hagen and Nidia van Voorthuizen. As you can tell, this is a Dutch book and it is a non-fiction about feminism and the title literally translates to Do you have a boyfriend yet? <laughs> and in this book the two authors who by the way have an amazing podcast and if you're Dutch listen to it it's called Dem Honey. Listen to it on Spotify it's really really great and they talk about various different topics and like talk about it from a feminist point of view and they always have really nice guests as well. In this book they deal with 50 reactions to shit that you have to deal with when you're a woman and it talks about so many different subjects. For instance, is feminism still necessary in the Netherlands? Because we always talk about how good we have it here in the Netherlands but there are still so many things where women and men are not equal. In comments such as do you hate all men or boys will be boys, they are just talking about how you should respond to those situations or not how you should but how you could respond and they are here with the facts. They are here with humor. I've laughed out loud a couple of times in this book and it's really wonderful. So if you are Dutch, please pick up this book. And I just love these women so much. Their podcast is absolutely amazing. So I'm like, Mm, I wanted to say almost halfway through, but like one third of the way through. And that is my first thesis writing slash reading vlog type of situation. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video, if you like seeing what I'm currently doing in my life. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to follow me on all my different social media pages, you can. I have Goodreads. I have Instagram, Twitter. What else do I have? An email address and an Etsy shop. Links will be in the description box down below. Yeah, again, thank you so much. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye.